Welcome back to Michael for Shut Up. This is episode number 15. I'm Chris, here with my wife Angie. Hi. My brother-in-law Bodie. Big dog, big dog. My sister Reagan. Mrs. Low Dog. <laughs> yeah, we're still working on our thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I thought I would think you would be Mrs. Big Dog. That's a good point. Right? Who the fuck is Little Dog? I mean, I'm, I'm Little Dog because you're Big Dog. Right, but you can't be Mrs. Little Dog because that means you married to Little Dog. So I'm Mrs. Reagan Barrio. No, you're Mrs. Bodie Barrio. Uh, <laughs> I disagree. That's, that's who you are. I, don't, I hate to tell you, my love. <laughs> when they asked me to sign up for something, they asked me my first name, Reagan, last name, Barrio, and title, Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Bodie Barrio. That is our names together. And, and the room silence indicates that more marriage therapy is needed. <laughs> Episode three. Yes. <laughs> big dog, big dog. <laughs> All right, Reg, let's, uh, I know you wanted to talk about the UC Berkeley professor what protest. Latino whatever was happening. professor. Yeah, whatever's going on the over there. Let's, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Okay, so um, basically you have a UC Davis professor, Joshua Ooh. Clover, who went in May of 2018 and did a guest lecture at uh, UC Berkeley where Yvonne Del Val, the Latina professor who is the top expert in colonial studies, met him. Shortly thereafter, she tweeted him, accused him of stalking her and um, uh, hacking her electronics for whatever reason. And so after she uh, did this, she was suspended by the university for violating the university's provisions against stalking and sexual harassment and retaliated against Clover. Uh, Clover, what is Clover? That's his name, the guy. Oh. So it says the respondent, <laughs> who is Yvonne DelVal, monitored, followed, observed, and threatened complainant both electronically and in person and interfered with his property. That's first time, okay? So she got suspended, whatever. She got reinstated, I guess. All she had to do was have no contact with him or any of his family. Bam. She fucks up and contacts him again. She gets suspended. Uh, we're now on the third investigation. And um, <clears throat> apparently the students have decided they've had enough. And they want her reinstated. So at a recent UC Berkeley football game, uh, several of these students did a... Uh, Stay, I don't know if it's a stand-in, a sit-in, whatever, on midfield before the football game in hopes of preventing the football game from happening. Well, 15 minutes later, they're drug off in handcuffs. Football game happens. Everything's good. Well, now a ton of organizations and students have written a letter to the university threatening that if they don't reinstate uh, this professor – that they will go on a hunger strike and it will be the university endangering the lives of their own students for not reinstating her. And as I hear it, the students have a very valid argument to try to keep this professor on board because there are no other professors knowledgeable in colonial studies. And if this university should lose her, then... <laughs> There will be no colonial studies. Oh, no, no. They say already that people are not coming to their school because they cannot study colonial studies. Oh, my God. It's already happening. Oh, my God. I yes, I, I mean. Believe. What will this world do I don't without know. colonial studies? I, I'm wondering the same thing. Because there's a mad dash to get that degree. What are we going to do? I don't know. When someone doesn't know how to churn butter, <laughs> what are we going to do? <laughs> this world is going to burn. Because we don't have a colonial studies professor. Well, I would like to just make two points on this. Of First course. of all, the dude is a white guy, but he is a fucking asshole because he hates cops. And in 2014, uh, made a couple of statements like the only good thing about cops was they were all going to die someday. And that the best way to kill a cop was to shoot him in the back. And um, 
the Latina professor um, has been offered actually an 18 month settlement of a suspension, right? So she could have her job back like right now or, or in 18 months rather, but she refuses to take the settlement because she says they should not be able to be, to do this to a minority woman in order to protect a white senior professor. That's her stance. All right. What well, do you think about that, Big Well, Chris? I have two points to say. Uh, first one is, I think it's super impressive that you took so many notes, and yet I still have no fucking idea what the inciting incident was that caused the protest. I'm confused as a motherfucker. She's a stalker. <laughs> she stalked yeah. another. Okay. Oh, All right. Lord okay, Jesus. well, let me tell you what she has admitted to doing. Yes. Keyed so, his car. She keyed his car. Yep. She right. vandalized the area outside of his apartment door by writing, Here lives a pervert. Uh, of course, she keeps violating the no contact order. <clears throat> she posted a picture of his partner online. Um, she has left messages outside of his mother's home, including, I raised a psychopath. <laughs> so, I mean, and those were just some of the things that she has admitted to. So, I, she. I bet I know who her favorite actress is. Sean oh. Young. Sean Young. <laughs> yep. He cray cray. I don't know why y'all didn't just laugh. That was funny. I did laugh. Okay. I didn't laugh because I don't know who the hell Sean Young was. Oh my god. Have you ever seen um Blade Runner? Ace Ventura? Uh Laces uh, Out? <laughs> yeah, who's Laces Out? Ace Ventura? You never she seen was Ace the Ventura? Chief, Chief of Police. Oh, was she? Yes. Okay. Hinkle. Hinkle. Einhorn? Yes, Einhorn. Oh, and her yeah. name is Sean Young? I wasn't thinking that was her name. Yeah, yeah she well, was in Dune uh, too. Okay, well, also, now I know who it was. Also, now that I know who she is, I still don't know what she did that is she similar dated, to this situation. She dated uh, James Woods, mm -hmm. and uh, when he broke up with her, she was doing crazy shit like taking dead cats and nailing them to his front door. Oh, see, shit like that. if well, I would have known see, all of that before the joke, well, it might have been funny. Since you're about the same age as me, I assume <laughs> that you have been keeping up with world events no. as you were growing up. Well, maybe see, she watched too much Family Guy. shit maybe. is unimportant to me. <laughs> Like colonial studies. Yeah, uh, I. <laughs> <laughs> well, just knowing what kind of crazy shit uh, chicks you break up with can get up to, I think is worth knowing. They, yeah, you're Except right. that he didn't even <laughs> date her. Yeah. He, he literally didn't... gave a lecture. Oh, now we're not talking about Sean Young again. Okay. No, no, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Back to, right. back now to Del back Val to, or whatever yeah. her name is. But now we have to decide whose side we are on because. Um, I'm on the show. Wait, wait. Oh. <laughs> she yeah. says. That if she cannot get her job back, she is moving back to Mexico. Well, we know that's not happening. Yep, that's definitely. Right, I call her a liar just for happening. that because nobody moves back to Mexico. Well, how many times has that been said? I mean, Roseanne. And yeah, no, they all say that shit. Rosie no, O'Donnell. O'Donnell. Yeah, Rosie O'Donnell. O'Donnell. I had Roseanne. the wrong Rosie, yeah. sorry. Yeah, they all say that. They all <laughs> say, oh, I'm going, I'm leaving the country. Man, get out. Get out already. Yeah. Right? Get the right. hell on. Don't let the door hit you. Well, my second point about this uh, was that uh, what what uh, website do I have to go to to sign a petition to encourage these students to go through with the hunger strike? Right. I agree. I think they a, would be doing the world a, a favor. A full-on hunger strike by a bunch of students bunch from of California, California. liberal idiots. Yes. Sounds like a great idea to me. Wonderful idea. We support the students. Yep. I am, I am on the strike. student side on this. Absolutely. Yep. Hunger strike away. That is the team that we're on. Yep. Actually, I'm on the school side for the hunger strike. I hope the school holds out. Yes, of course. <laughs> absolutely. We need the hunger strike. Right. Temple yeah. of the Dog wrote a song about these students. Oh, you stole my joke. I was totally about to do a Temple of the Dog joke. Hey, you got to be you gotta be quick on your feet or on this podcast. <laughs> All right? The jokes are just going to keep coming. All right? Yeah. I mean, definitely. Eddie Vedder is a liberal. He might sing for him. Oh, that's a fact. He might join one in Hunger Strike if we're lucky. So anyone who's confused, I'm going <laughs> to summarize this particular topic in the fact that we got UC Berkeley. We got two professors. Both of them are idiots. <laughs> we got students that number in the hundreds probably that are all idiots. And they all hate each other. The students want the one idiot to get her job back. So they're going to starve themselves to death in order to get the job back. Um, basically, you got a circus of idiots, and a bunch of them want to starve themselves to death. I'm, I mean, I'm all in. Yeah, I'm a fan. Yeah. Let's yeah. do it. Yeah, because they're not really smart. You know what would really show the school? No. Everybody withdrawing and taking their fucking money. Nobody's doing that, are they? 
Well, who is going to do colonial studies if, we, if that I happens? I thought she was going to say Apparently that. Apparently nobody's doing <laughs> colonial studies. Yeah. I thought you were going to say, really make a statement, ask us all drink Kool-Aid. You know, like, Jimmy <laughs> <laughs> That's really what I thought you were about to say. <laughs> oh, they've already drank the Kool-Aid. That's pretty oh, clear. That's a fact. Oh. That is a fact. Brain cells are not living yep. in California. Nope. Something's in the water. I guarantee it. Well, I wish more of it would be in the water. No. California, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, and what's what's even greater about all of that is I just mentioned it a little while ago is that the, the professors who are idiots and they are trying to infuse all of their idiotness into the students, they have created this group of idiots. Yep. So I think it's amazing. It's like the monster that you, the Frankenstein that you have built is now acting out. I love it. Yeah. I love it. I think it's a great story. Oh, yeah. She's a cult leader Somebody for Somebody sure. should write a book. She should be an expert in cults. cults. <laughs> <laughs> you know who could write the book? Stephen King with his dumb ass. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Who needs colonial uh, studies when you could have how to create a cult? <laughs> uh, yes, just, indeed. I just want to point out uh, if anybody hears a <laughs> sound, it is Bodie in his chair. <laughs> what? Yeah. Your chair is it's making no, it's no, not. Every time, I'm you, not make noise, every time you make a noise, it's <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's not. No, it's <laughs> not. No, it's not. And yes, nobody it would have ever noticed that if you wouldn't have said it. Well, well, all four of us have been looking at you. We all been looking at each other like, uh, has he noticed that he's making so much noise? No, he's and you were like, anything. you were like, fucking students. <laughs> <laughs> now we sound like amateurs. I got, I got animated. Yeah, well, so much for a professional podcast. <laughs> I don't believe it. Y'all are lying. I'm well, listening back. You will listen back. Yeah, I don't yep. reach. I went. You went, Jer. <laughs> okay, when you win. Exactly. No, no, you win. You're sorry. It's not a visual podcast. You just pointed at the chair. Yeah, there's no video. When you listen back, you listen at speed and a half, so it's going to be. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love it, too. <laughs> we already talked about that, but I'll say it again. I recommend, I fully recommend listening at two times speed. Oh, that's no. great. No, it's like it's like one point six. Yeah, you know, one it, two yeah, times like is a, a little too fast, but yeah, it is hilarious. Whenever yeah, it's, it yeah. is great listening at one point five, one point six, somewhere yep. in there at a little extra speed. Yep. Oh, oh, whenever man. we start laughing, that is the funniest. It's thing. It's wonderful. It's my favorite <laughs> thing to do. It's a strange pastime, but I definitely enjoy it. At least somebody's listening to this podcast. <laughs> right. It's me. It's me. And I'm just chuckling over the sound of the speed. No, I'm not on drugs. <laughs> so, uh, Cody, do you want to take the next topic? Since you do have... I? Yeah. I don't know if I do. I don't know if it fits. fits oh, right. we're going fits from right. idiots to uh, downright. Criminal? Yeah, but it was pretty idiotic. Yes. It was. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> if you have not already heard, there has been a NHL hockey player that is killed in a game on ice. And the best part, well, I'm not saying best because it's a tragedy all the way around. The, the kicker to the whole thing is the player... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got that. <laughs> the Sorry. kicker. <laughs> so, I thought it was best to do the punchline before you do the setup. Right, right. <laughs> the player who. So, it's hard to say because now you've done got me messed up. What happened was one player raised his leg up off the ice high enough which these players are probably six foot tall, high enough to get to one of the players' neck. And the sharpness of these blades is unbelievable. The technology, they're sharpened with, like, lasers and things, right? And, right? and they're titanium now. And they're made of titanium. So this is basically just like a razor blade. He raises it up to, his, to the level of the other player's neck and slices the other player's neck. And the player leaves with blood spurting out of his uh, artery and... Gets to the hospital and is pronounced dead at the hospital. The kicker to it all is, and that's why it's funny because it's a kicker. <laughs> he raised his leg up and kicked him in the neck. This this player who did that is the most penalized player in the entire league. 
He has more time in the penalty box than any other player. He's a dirty player. They call it like his nickname is Dirty. I think they call him the, 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 just basically a dirty player. So the question here is now: the police are investigating. Is this to be considered some type of homicide? Because when you raise your leg more than six feet up off of the ice, what is your intention? What are you doing? There's no hockey move that requires that action. What, are you, what is your intention when you do that? Right. So there's a discussion to be had as to whether or not he should be charged criminally for negligent homicide, manslaughter, They're any, talking number, murder, of, any, any yeah. number of crimes, yeah. right? So I think that's what's going on right now. We don't know what the outcome will be, but right. that's what's happening. What do you think? Well, I thought the question was, uh, did uh, the dirty player say hi <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> he may have, because if you look at the video, it looks like he was doing a karate move Yeah, in the middle of hockey. Yeah. And yet other players are, um, in, I guess in their support of him, are saying, well, we realized this was an unorthodox move. <laughs> like, bitch, you've been to shoot forever. Ever go up that high right. in ice hockey unless someone flips you, yep. you know, without your approval. Right. Yeah, that's some crazy shit. Yeah. And they, they interviewed, like, another professional hockey player on the news and said, well, do you think that he was making a hockey move here or was this unorthodox or in any way, you know, he said, no, he said, you can definitely tell that he wanted to make contact with yeah. that player with yeah. his legs or feet. Right. Yeah. But he doesn't believe that the intention to kill him was there. Well, obviously you didn't go to a hockey game thinking I'm going to go kill somebody. Right. That's obvious. Right. But the fact that you intended to do some type of harm, it has to be some kind of negligence or at least criminal on a, on a base level, I right. think. No, sure. You know what I mean? Right. Regardless of if it's a sporting event or not, there's still laws that apply. Right. No, I mean, you can't shoot a gun into a room without looking to see who's in there. I mean, right. same right. thing. Yeah. Well, if you're playing a football game right. and you shoot a gun at somebody. <laughs> yeah, right. right. Yeah. Right? Because that's right. basically what you're doing. you got a knife on your feet. No, that's true, yeah. So it's that's not right. necessarily a gun, that's but it's right. a knife. Yep. So if yeah. you raise your foot up, which you know is a knife, you have that knowledge. I'm sure that they probably felt the sharpness of these blades. Yep. You know is a knife. You raise your foot up. You put it to somebody else's neck. What is that? That's basically just like shooting a gun in the yeah. middle of a football game. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he's gonna so, he's gonna uh, be in the Guinness Book of World Records for uh, lo uh, yeah. <laughs> the Guinness Book of the uh, Guinness Book of let me. Let me take that joke over again. Hold on a second. Let's back this up. Well, when you're listening to the podcast and you hear these strange sounds coming from that area, it's just Chris being a moron. <laughs> <laughs> it has nothing to do with his chair, by the way. As soon as I tech guy learns how to edit these, <laughs> these kind of things, we'll no longer be in the podcast. But uh, what I was going to say, which is not going to be funny anymore. Uh, well, it's not her fault you don't know how to speak. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm going to go ahead and say it anyway because uh, it's been built up now. But uh, he's going to be in the Guinness Book of World Records for a long amount of time in a penalty box. 30 years to life. <laughs> that was still a good joke, though. Yeah. I chuckled on the inside. <laughs> and then his cellmate, Bubba, is going to spend some time <laughs> yeah. in his penalty box. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Exactly yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing funnier than prison yep. sex. Hey, Dirty, want some of this sack lunch? <laughs> yeah. Sack lunch. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. My. So, bit. anyway, yeah, that's an interesting, you know, current event. No, hockey yeah, player. I did not know about that until today. Yep. That's some crazy The shit. hockey player and now Matthew Perry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Matthew Perry's dead. Some people in this room <laughs> care about that. done to death. Some people <laughs> care about that. Yeah. <laughs> Could he be any more dead? <laughs> <laughs> I know that was poor taste. Yeah. Well, you know what I say about Matthew Perry. No, I don't know God. what he say. I would like to know what he says. No, we, no, don't. we don't want to know what he says. Really? Why not? No, because he's just so insensitive. Well, do we have to be sensitive? No, oh, but do we don't bit. have to be totally insensitive. I mean, we've already... California is who we Fine. rag on. That's well, that's who we rag me, uh, on. Not me, people like Matthew you, Perry. Where do you think Matthew Perry lives? 
Yep. <laughs> Six feet up. <under>. Yep. <laughs> oh, look at you being insensitive. How come you get to be insensitive? <laughs> right. This I is some bullshit. That was fair for you. I'm that was facts. Complaint. That was facts. Feminism. 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 Yeah. That's his actual, yeah. actual yeah. dresses. Six feet under. I want to know yeah. who the HR you know, is. Uh, uh, I'm going to tell a story about uh, Norm McDonald. Norm McDonald did not like Nancy Perry. Didn't like him. And, uh, who is Norm McDonald? Who the fuck? <laughs> oh, oh, yes, yeah, you better be fucking joking. He is, he is. Okay. No, he's not. Oh, who my God. Norm who is Norm McDonald? Saturday Night Live. That's the news. Yeah, that's okay. that's the news. Okay. So he did, not, he did not care for Matthew Perry, which who can blame him? Right. So, uh, and this is the, you know, um, Norm McDonald made two movies that I'm aware of. One, funny as fuck. The other one, not so funny. But he, he's the, he was one of the funniest comedians ever, and uh, yet he didn't make a ton of comedies, which I always found strange. And I think this story might be the reason why. So Matthew, excuse me. So Matthew Perry hosts Saturday Night Live. I know the shit out of Norm Macdonald. Doesn't think he's all he's been cracked up to be. So they're all sitting in a room. Uh, you know, the cast members. Um, who, um, who the hell is the guy that was in charge of Saturday Night Live? Uh, oh my god. Yeah, god damn it, his name just I had it on the tip of my tongue. Anyway, <gasps> Dana Carby. No, 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 no. The Lauren, guy Lauren Michael, Michaels. Yes. Lauren Michaels is in the room, some of the cast members, they talk about the show, they didn't do the show. And uh Harvey Weinstein is there visiting that day. So he's in the and he's fucking, That's the guy who had sex with all the actresses who yeah. said that he raped them so that yeah. they could have their parts. And which he didn't rape them. They voluntarily well, sucked right. on that peen. And then they had buyer's remorse. <laughs> yes. Because uh, they, so he much for being not <laughs> insensitive. You know? Well, you know what? I'm sorry. But when I see you happy as a clam, starring in a scary is, movie. Thank you. Uh, if uh, yeah. Harvey Weinstein had said, you suck on this pee-pee and I put you in the next Matrix movie, I'd have been like, hmm. <laughs> You'd have had to give it some thought. <laughs> yeah, I'd have like, well, let, <laughs> let me not walk away too soon. Let me... uh. That's starting so, to make me think so, twice about our relationship. <laughs> you don't have nothing like that to offer him. So no, exactly, that's a good point. I don't. So uh, thank God. So Harvey Weinstein is raving about uh, Matthew Perry. Now he's the next big thing, and he, he said uh, Matthew Perry is a genius. And so Norm Macdonald said, "Oh, what is he good at math or something?" <laughs> So uh, everybody in the room laughed, except right. Harvey Weinstein. Oh, he didn't So, uh, yeah, he did not think it was funny. So uh, I'm pretty sure that's why Norm Macdonald never made any other movies. Right. You know, which, That one joke yep. burned it. Yep. Which I think it was worth it. Timing. It was funny. It was funny, right? It's all about the timing. Yep. Right? You can't do the punchline before the setup, <laughs> as I was told. Well, hey. We all learn, you know. Comedy doesn't come naturally to some people. I'm okay. trying. Yeah, no, well, right. that's all right. We witness this every podcast. We do, we do. <laughs> like the whole Sean Rogers thing, or whatever that person's name is. <laughs> 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 I wish I could have found that funny. <laughs> oh, well, that's all right. It's probably funny because it wasn't funny. The audience it, might, I, have, been it might have been. For me, it was. <laughs> For me, it was more entertaining that I didn't find it funny. I love it. I love it. Liberals are probably mad now. That movie is probably banned because they didn't actually use someone with a penis to play that part. Okay, what, what movie, movie are you talking yeah, about? Ace what Ventura. Penis? Holy shit. What? Yeah, so that is... Finkel and Einhorn. So what you're saying is that Einhorn should have been an actual trans tranny. person. Yeah. Also, uh, spoiler alert, don't listen to this if you've never seen Ace Ventura. <laughs> But they've never seen Ace Ventura. Yeah, I mean, they probably only, won't. Yeah. Only 40 years That old. scene, when they discover that Einhorn is the man. Yes. <laughs> the funniest yes. fucking scene. Yes. He's in there with the plunger. Yes. No. Yes. Throwing up yes. in the yeah. toilet. Oh, yeah, they could so not great. do that today. Which is one of the reasons why I love that movie. Is, what, uh, is the song, what is the song that's playing? It's like the crying it's game. It's the crying game. Yeah, yeah, the crying crying game. game. <laughs> love it. So funny. But I mean, that's the whole acting thing now is all these people <laughs> saying, well, I mean, if you want a handicapped person in, in a role, it should it not be an be actual a... handicapped person right. playing it. But you know what? There's plenty of people who don't. I mean, okay. The Pope's exorcist. I'm just going to use this as an example because clearly. The guy wasn't really a pope. He was playing one in the movies. Yep. Yeah, I don't understand that logic that they, you know, because where does it end? I mean, if there's a serial killer in the movie, does he have to be played by a serial killer? Right. You know I mean, right. that doesn't make any sense. But that, but you know that, and you can't really try to understand that logic because it also doesn't apply across the board. 
It's right. a when the shoe fits our narrative, that's when it's going to apply. Right. But when it right. doesn't, yep. it's not going to apply. Yep. Right? So if there's an actual white person and there's a documentary about this actual white person, it's okay for it to be played by an Asian person. Yep. Right? Yep. That's, that's okay. But if you flip that narrative and you change it to something else, then it's the rule applies. So you can't really put logic into it because right. logic doesn't fly. It's basically only what we like and when we like it. That's how they vote. That's no, how they vote. That is how they roll. Right? And they live in California, yep. all of them, yeah. pretty much. Come on, son Andreas. That's why I've been uh, <laughs> I've been auditioning for that movie where that guy, the characters had sex with like 5,000 women because I figured like if I get the part, then I'm going to have Will Chamberlain. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. They're making a movie about Will Chamberlain and Chris is going to play him. Or Magic Johnson. And Chris is five foot two and he's white as snow. But True. he's going to be Will Chamberlain. I think it's going to work. It, it can work. I'm it gonna can. Use, I'm going to use the same technology they used in Avatar. Yes. So, I like it's it. going to work. Yep. CGI. Yep. We could CGI Chris into a gigantic football player's body. Except he was a basketball player. <laughs> <laughs> he was indeed a basketball player. There's always a twist to every movie, <laughs> he right? Was. Yeah. But I was putting you in a whole different movie, you see. I was making my own movie. Right, right. The movie, <laughs> the the movie where Will Chamberlain became a football player. <laughs> right, right. Look, I don't care about any of that. All of that did have sex with 5,000 women. That was right. the point. Oh, oh, okay. Before I met you. This movie would take place before I met you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this was pre, pre-marriage. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a pre-marriage movie. So it doesn't count. It doesn't yeah, count. you have to look at the setting of the movie, you see. Pre-marital movie. Heard 25 years ago, okay. That's right. He will be recording it tomorrow, but the setting of the movie would have been in the 1980 sometime. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you might want to move on to another topic. Oh. <laughs> what? What? Did I do something else wrong? How old do you think I was in 1980? <laughs> okay, anyway. How old I think you might be beating this to death. <laughs> Wait, how old were you in 1980? <laughs> You were like eight. He was sick. Yes, but the movie's not about you. It's about Will Chamberlain. How old was he in 1980? <laughs> That's a good point. A little older point. than six. That's a good so, point. There we go. How old he was? He already had sex. Oh, he's already had sex. I promise you. He's already had two thousand. You. Yeah. So you you get three thousand more. Also, uh, before we get off this topic, I just want to point out that uh, Harvey Weinstein. This is a true story. I'm not. This is not a joke. Harvey Weinstein had gangrene on his penis. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know if it's because he had sex with so many women or... But uh, think about this. Harvey Weinstein was getting women to go down on him. He had gangrene on his penis. I want to know him. how you came to have this knowledge. It was actually on, like, the news. Like, whenever he got Okay, how arrested. does the news come to have this knowledge? That's understand that it only takes... There's only one came up way trial. that Rose, you can have this knowledge. Rose McGowan probably told him. <laughs> 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 Also, someone who ended up being in scary movie. Yeah, no, no, scream. I, oh no, no, scream, believe actually. she can, she can piss and moan, but, but she definitely went down on Harvey Weinstein intentionally. With a smile on her face. Yeah, with a smile on her face. Right? She was like a turkey. I promise you. <laughs> she wishes, she wishes he still had his position because no, exactly. since he got yeah. freaking arrested and shit, she her, she, she, oh, and she fucked yeah, up right. her face and everything. Yep. Uh-huh. Yep. Oh, so as it turns out, you were actually yeah. very successful because of your skills right. see, that were not right. set. See, there's a difference between uh, rape and buyer's remorse. Mm-hmm. See, that's the that's where they yeah. they got confused. Yeah. And me too. You too what? You too. The whole me too movement. <laughs> oh my what god! Are you gonna be in? movement? The whole me too movement. Oh. I got the joke. I got the joke. Note to oh self, simplify humor when talking to Reagan. <laughs> got it. I got it. <laughs> so let's move on to another funny subject. Uh, it wasn't necessarily funny. This pilot who tried to kill 83 people. What? Well, has anybody heard about that? No. Yes. Because this is some crazy shit. Okay, if you, I know nothing about it. If you are not afraid to fly, uh, listen up because you soon will be. So there's this thing where... Um, if a pilot needs to go get on a flight and go somewhere, instead of buying a ticket, he just gets to ride in the cockpit with other pilots. Because, you know, just the same way docs don't have medical bills, pilots don't play, 
they don't pay for air travel. They just ride on another flight. So, um, makes perfect sense. Yeah. So this guy's a pilot. He's off duty, riding on his plane. Eighty-three people on the plane. Okay. Mid-flight, he decides uh, to commit suicide, and uh, he tries to cut the uh, engines off in the plane. Take everybody down with him. So they had to restrain the guy. Had to, you know, restrain him, put him in the back of the plane, get him out of the cockpit, land, and uh, have the authorities come and arrest him. All right? The crazy part about that is that this fucking guy was on the... The reason why he was on the plane in the first place was because he was going to... Uh, they were flying to... Uh, where were they going? San Francisco, was it? Um, I'm trying to remember. Well, anyway, I think it was San Francisco. So he's flying to... Uh, major city because he's going to fucking be a pilot on a 737. And uh, so everybody's saying that, thank God, he he decided to do it on the flight where they had people to stop him. And now when he was in charge, yeah, when he was in charge yeah, right. of everything. Yeah. And he was serious about it. Like, Holy when he tried to turn the engines off, he hit the fire suppressor, which, you know, prevents the engines from fucking kicking back on. Yeah, he was like, he was serious about wow. it. Yeah. Makes you wonder, do they not do psyche, psyche valves on these pilots before they get in charge of hundreds? Because some of these big jets, man, they carry three, four hundred people. I know, I know. So you're talking about hundreds and hundreds of lives all because this one dude is goo-goo? No, I heard they put out like an announcement that day to like all the pilots and staff saying, be on high alert. Mm. So uh, they knew what something I was going to happen. No, I, see, I did not hear that story, so it I doesn't don't know. Mean it I, didn't I, I didn't. I know. I'm not saying it didn't happen. I'm just saying that I don't know if I believe you. Well, all I know is <laughs> that <laughs> pilot that <laughs> saved the pilot and co-pilot that saved it sure did a real good job and handled it very quickly for someone who was not on high alert. Well, that's because if I was sitting at the controls of a fucking airplane and a guy tried to turn the fucking off switch, I think I would be pretty fucking quick to react. <laughs> yeah, but the, no, they, they said they were calm as fuck. Well, they yeah. said that the people on the plane didn't even know. Yeah. Didn't, they didn't even know, they didn't know that, that something had fallen off. God. Until he announced it, he's like, we have the guy who tried to turn off the engines. The dude, no, you have to wear And they're all like, what the fuck are you talking about? And when they, yeah, when they called, like, air traffic control or whatever, they were all, call, the pilot was all calm and said, look, we have the situation under control. Just have police waiting at the gate when we get there. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I would not be I'm telling you, there was an alert put out. Okay. But yeah. I don't understand if they uh, had an, if they had an alert, why didn't they have a more, uh, detailed, uh, this is the plane or this is the person. Yeah. That's, whew. I'm sorry, I'm still pondering the fact that you said put out. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I've just been tangled up in that. I didn't hear anything that you guys just said. And you may be pondering that for a while, baby. Yeah, I, 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 it's not uncommon. <laughs> Fucking Davis and Butthead impersonation over here. She said put out. Right, right, right. <laughs> I, I couldn't think of anything else after that. Sorry. Well, if that wasn't enough to scare you, let me tell you, there was a uh, movie I saw a while back called Charlie Victor Romeo. You ever heard of it? No. It will make you never want to set foot on an airplane again. It's uh, It was originally a play that they turned into a movie. And the way they filmed the movie uh, oh, yeah. was like it was a play. Like, it's it's on a stage. You can see that it's on a stage. And it had, and what it is is um, it's uh, six real incidents that happened with plane crashes. <clears throat> sometimes it was, you know, an accident or sometimes it was just like a malfunction or, you know, and what happened is they took, uh, they hired these, they had this little group of actors and they just kept uh, switching off and playing different roles, you know, and what they did was they took the, the, the flight recorder and then they just basically acted out the transcripts, you know, that was of the, of the actual incident. So it's some scary as fuck shit. So like what they do is they, they put like, half of a cockpit and then the people are sitting in it you know and then they would just they would just do the uh thing and then they would get and then they would depending on whatever kind of incident it was they would get over to a different type of cockpit and, all. and it's scary as fuck because uh after they 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 do the uh actual crash itself they tell you exactly what caused the crash right and uh one of them was uh th there's it was this uh these two pilots a man and a woman and they were struggling the whole time to, to, to maintain altitude. They couldn't, they were having trouble with their altitude and they're, they're freaking out the whole time. They're, you know, you can hear them back and forth like we're in some deep shit. And they eventually crashed into a plane, uh, into a mountain, I believe. And uh, 
what happened was uh, the repair crew that was like just checking the plane out before they took off and like duct taped something down to keep it out of their way while they were working on the plane they forgot to untape it and so the fucking wow. instrument wasn't working properly so wow. they were screwed from yeah from the get go and then there was another one where uh everybody on board is just talking normal day joke here there absolutely no problems at all whatsoever and then suddenly you all start screaming and they all die and then you find out that, like the plane froze, <laughs> like the engine froze up or some shit. Wow. And it just dropped out of the sky with no warning whatsoever. Yeah, so now, basically, you're saying we don't have to watch it now. Well, no, yeah, don't, I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, that's it's it's some scary. I don't like to fly it's anyway. Some scary shit when you think about it, like all everything that could go on. They say flying is the safest way to travel, but that's only true if you don't crash. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. I mean, at least on a car crash, you might survive. But you know what gets me is when you get on a flight. The first thing they want to tell you is, in the unlikely event of a water landing, <laughs> what is a water landing? Bitch, there ain't no water landing. Yeah. What you mean is if we crash, and then you're trying to tell me what to do if that happens, I don't think I'm going to have to do anything. <laughs> no, what was the guy's name? He did the water landing. Oh, so oh yeah, right. see, Sully. So right. so he did. Those people, yeah, he those people, if they paid yeah, attention, yeah. That's, they did In the good. Potomac, right? Was that the Potomac? I believe it was in the Potomac, yep. That is correct. Wow. Yep. That was a water landing. Thanks. No problem. For ruining my joke. Well, <laughs> that's what she's here for, to ruin yeah, everybody's joke. Appreciate what the it. fuck? I was doing a joke the other day, and Angie was going, you're lying. You're making this shit up. This is not real. I'm like, yeah, it's a joke. Thanks for ruining it. <laughs> you're welcome. Y'all should really try to be more funny. Oh. It's I mean, hard. It's hard. They don't make us laugh. I mean, I'm just saying. It's hard. It's hard to do. Imagine trying to be what's the thing. Funny? To be, Funny? <laughs> no, no. Imagine trying to be tall when you have someone constantly cutting your legs off. That's what it's like trying to be funny when you're in the room. <laughs> I think you only cut your legs off once. Apparently. No, you can cut off a few inches at a time. Apparently it's like trying to have sex while she's in the room too, right? <laughs> well, According she to you. has fantasy. You. Don't think she doesn't. That's she told gross you about for you to talk about me having sex. That's just really gross. Uh, yeah. He fucking talks about it every time we turn on the he microphone. He's my husband. Absolutely turn on the microphone. You're my brother. It's not the same thing. She has fantasies of me not being in the room. That's, that's her fantasies. Oh, I have fantasies of y'all shutting the fuck up, but those don't come true either. <clears throat> okay, let's all shut up. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. Um, uh, in... Honor of the fallen hockey player, we'll now have a moment of silence. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> so, let me tell you, the first thing I thought was Toe Pink. No. That's the first thing I thought no. of. I love that movie. Me too. What? What are you talking about? The Cutting Edge. Oh my god, I've never seen the cutting edge. Oh I'm a man. I it am a funny. man. It is funny. No, but I What mean, is that, the Nancy see... Kerrigan thing? No, no. it's no. the one where the, the figure skater is it. a partner because she literally has run away every partner oh, ever, so they find that ice. No, no, it's oh, before no. that. Unfortunately, it's not a comedy. They get an ice hockey player. And try to try to teach him how to figure skate just so this girl uh, will have a partner. And then they fall in love. And he didn't know how to stop. And so she, Topic, used Yeah, Topic. she thought she was uh, But he did toss her in the air. He did kick his legs up in the air, though. Uh, That's why I thought Cody Davis the whole time you were Right, right. Oh, great to glory. I, I think he, he resisted the urge to throw her ass in the air and I not catch her. I think D.B. Sweeney's career was in the toilet, and he was just happy to make any movie. I like the Is movie. Is that the guy Patty who jumped Sweeney? out of the airplane with all the dope? No, that no, was D.B. Cooper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, I was close. It was you were close. Too, wasn't it? Was you close. Were close. It was D.B., whatever it was. Yeah, that's right. I did it. Yay. <laughs> big dog, big dog. <laughs> hey, which is B.D. Big there you dog, go. B.D. Yeah. I am B.D. B.D. Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> big dog, big We've dog. We've gone down the rabbit hole. It's fun, though. I love it down mm -hmm. here. Well, while we're talking about movies, I'm going to go ahead and give an update. Oh, I know you're, I know you're excited. Do, I know you're I fucking excited. I don't want to do it anymore. I know you're fucking excited. I don't want to do it anymore either. Podcast. I don't want to do it anymore either. <laughs> Goddamn actors who are still on strike. All right? So the writers, as we mentioned, are no longer on strike. So the actors actually had a deal done. The studio's like, okay, cool. This deal's done. 
let's go ahead and, and uh, sign the paperwork to be done. And then the uh, wait, let me guess. There was a clause that said you had to suck Harvey Weinstein. Oh, no, no. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> nope, that is not okay. that is not. Chris perfect. would have pondered it. He <laughs> no. would sign. Where's the dotted line? All right. I I'm mean, gang gringus. let me get my knee pads. You might have been like, let me see the dick first. Oh, 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 oh. Damn. Oh. Oh. Let me oh, tell you Rape is no laughing matter. <laughs> Unless you're raping a clown. Oh, here goes Reagan. <laughs> He's done. She thinks that is the funniest thing ever. That, that, is, that, she is, does. that is the most And it's terrible. It it's is terrible. Oh, be myself. <laughs> I still don't understand why she didn't buy the t-shirt for herself. Right. That's the she that. wanted to yeah. buy it for herself, yeah. but she couldn't wear it. I That's the problem. I had children. I couldn't have them asking me what rape was at that time. Oh, my gosh. All right, please, just get on with the actors. Yeah, yeah so, carry on. So, okay, deal done. All I got to do is sign the paperwork, and then uh, the actors go, oh, there's one more thing. <laughs> Yeah, see, whenever a person's funny, you just, that's, this is what happens when you allow somebody to be funny. Although, I don't know what's funny about that, but. <laughs> you went, oh, by some wind in their mouth. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Now, you mentioned Harvey Weinstein's penis, and she just right. can't get off the subject. Right. Now, she just can't stop thinking of you with Harvey Weinstein's penis in your mouth. Wow. It's not going to end. Something has led me to believe that she would have been in the movie. She would have been in Scary Movie 2. It was actually Scream. Whatever. I just want to make sure we're, we're on the right thing. What difference thing. does it make? Well, because Scream did much better than Scary Movie, so we want to make sure we were just oh, on the right Oh, you at least movie. got an A-list movie. Right. No, yeah, if you're going to do know, it, If you're going to do it, it, it needs to be an A-list movie. That is correct. That's why I said, you know, the and next movie. And Rose week. McGowan, yeah. sure. That's where she went wrong, because then she was in... You know, fucking Thunder Alley, whatever fucking shit ass movie she made after sucking him off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. Well, maybe she did it once. Maybe that was the problem. Should we name this the Harvey Weinstein penis show? I don't I'm think just saying. So. I don't think so. How to get him the penis? Okay. Wow. Okay. Well, we now have the oh, we now have the header for the song for the right, back, back to the actor straight. All right. Well, I know what the poll question is. <laughs> what is it? Would you suck Harvey Weinstein off for a movie role? Yes or no? Oh, my God. <laughs> you notice it is them two laughing, right? It's, my he God. He said the poll question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Beavis. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. So, anyway, the actors... Um, <laughs> decide that uh, they want one more stipulation in their contract and that is they want a 50 cent a 57 cent levy on every subscriber on every streaming service even though not every movie that's on a uh, streaming service is made by American actors you know they pull a lot of stuff from Korea and, oh, you yeah. know, but they want a 50 they want to be given 50 cents for every subscriber to every single streaming service so the studio said uh, uh no. get effed right and they have suspended uh, negotiations until january holy yeah so it's going to be a while before that's unfortunate well they're giving them the holidays to suffer most I think that's brilliant on the studio's part. Right. No, well, it sucks because I didn't get, I don't get to watch Dune. Exactly, I was looking forward to Dune too. I finally get to look forward to a movie, and then they fucking go on strike. So the yep. worst part about all of this is that we still have to talk about this again. In yeah, January. that's right. Uh, yeah, but at least not till January. I'll give an update whenever something happens. Whenever something happens, maybe we'll hopefully get... it's all the way in January, and it's going to be the last one. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully. Because I remember talking about this whole strike situation in the beginning. Yep. yep. And you and I both agreed that nobody cares. But Chris cares. But yet you seem to care. Well, now no, he no, cares. No. And you well, also well, seem to think our listeners care, which is weird. Uh, I think that our listeners care about whatever I want to talk about. Oh, I, oh, I mean, I agree shit. with you, even okay. if it's a poll question <laughs> about somebody's poll. Sucking the pole. <laughs> Oh my God! Gangrene pole. Oh, yeah. that. that could be your thing. Fucking the pole. Fucking the pole. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm here. I'm here. Chris. I go. Suck the pole. <laughs> you 
Yes. Yes. I'm, Bro, welcome back. To I Mike swear Miller to show. God, if you I'm say here that, with my I'm brother-in-law, punch. Chris. Don't worry, I won't. <laughs> Suck in the pool. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna keep working on it and try to come up with something for next. Oh, week. that's not good. No, I'm gonna try to come up with something next week. Oh my! I think it would work. I think it would work. <sighs> it might. <laughs> I'll ponder it. I'll ponder it. <laughs> I love it. Yep. Where were we? I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm yeah. did uh, Angie have a topic she wanted to talk about? <laughs> oh, yeah. So, speaking of like streaming services, Netflix is talking about in 2025 opening brick and mortar like restaurants where you can sit, watch movies, have they have like a game, kind of like a Dave and Buster's kind of thing. Mm. And they're just talking about opening it. You know. You're gonna That's be able a to off. They already had that. Yeah, but uh, you're gonna be able to watch movies and things like that. It's gonna be like go to that. Do they already have that? Where? I mean, there's there's, there's like theaters where you can go, where you can order dinner, sit in a recliner like chair, and eat while you're watching a new, a new movie. Yeah, but there's not many. I think that there's probably a few, but I don't think it's like a national chain thing, right? Yeah, they said they're supposed to start with two of them to see how it does. Huh. There you go, two. Two does well, not I mean, a national chain. Well, beginning of a franchise. Yeah, no, that is. I mean, beginning. Netflix is already established, so I mean. Yeah, right. that's true. It should be easy for them to dive in. Yeah, well, people are talking about going away from Netflix, though, because they won't yeah. stop oh, jacking yeah. up the yeah. prices. Well, the reason why they're jacking Agreed. up the prices is because people are leaving the streaming service, so they're jacking up the price to make up for the people that left, which yeah. then in turn makes more people leave, so right. they got to jack up the price. And they're all just, jacking up their prices. It's a vicious cycle. Right. More than Until all. eventually they have to shut the doors. Right, exactly. Yep. Yeah. So, fine with me. Me too. I'm good with it. I'm good with it. I will cut them. Just like I cut them when they did that whole thing before. I cut yep. Them. Right. All right. So uh, there's two corrections that need to be need to be made for uh, last week's episode. First one is uh, we were talking about the whole Hamas war and everything. <coughs> I got somebody pointed out. Got a little excited and I said Israelites instead of Israelis. So I fucked up. Okay. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm a human being. So you use the biblical term. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I was so worked up, I wasn't thinking properly. So mm -hmm. forgive me. Yes, but I'm a big enough Who man. Who pointed that out? A friend of mine. He's a dick. Yeah. So. You love Ashton. Yeah. Ashton didn't. Oh my out. God! If y'all said that name, it wasn't Ashton. Ashton. It wasn't Ashton. Okay. But he's gonna go just like just like right Libby, there. just like Libby. We gotta say Ashton because he's a law fan. It happens. And that's what we do to our law fans. We say well, that you name. You say right. Ashton, she says Libby, and I'll say Mac. <laughs> <laughs> we all have our own guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm not saying people's names. Okay, don't yeah. say Alex's name or Aaron. Okay, we don't have to say names. We could just say Spooky DePaul. <laughs> <laughs> so many video. So the other thing was uh, apparently uh, Angie was quick to correct me after we got home that uh, I was incorrect on the origin of showing your titties on Bourbon Street for Mardi Gras. Okay, first of all, wait, wait, wait before we go into this. Why the fuck did you wait till you got home to correct him? Oh, no, I did not wait till we got home. I got right into the car. Why? Because I wanted Why to... didn't you correct him in the podcast when we would all have loved to join in on the fun? Yes, because I would have helped you smash him. <laughs> Clearly, I made a mistake, and I will not do that again. Yeah, we need um, to have some marriage counseling with you. But I oh, was searching things in the car, and I was like, Motherfucker, you were wrong. Oh, so you didn't know until you got into Well, no, it didn't sound right when he said it. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, it didn't sound right. right. Oh. Which, which, you know, of course it didn't sound right. All I know is that's a story I've been told for many years. So Yeah, I... but you didn't okay. look it up first. So... Let's recreate it. Tell me the story, because nobody who has, even if you listen to this podcast, with the episode you're talking about they heard a week ago, so they're probably not real familiar with it. Let's Tell me what the story well, I, was. I... I told everyone that the uh, the way that showing your titties for beads on Bourbon Street got started was uh, one year, which she said was in the 70s, which sounds right. Uh, the the uh, Mardi Gras parade got canceled, so you had a ton of people there drinking, looking for a good time. Now there's no parade. So the idea of showing titties uh, came into somebody's head and it caught on. Yeah, it caught <laughs> on pretty quickly. And we got all these beads. You right. got all these titties. <laughs> exactly. We can make a deal. Exactly. I got right. it. Okay, I yeah. remember this now. Yeah. So uh, she's saying that uh, it had already started happening before that parade had gotten canceled. Okay, so how right. did it actually originate? It was just done because people got drunk. 
Oh, in the well. eight, in like in like the early eight, I mean the late eighteen hundreds. Yeah, I think that's started in the brothels. late eighteen hundreds. Wow. Yeah, yeah, really? it was. Yeah, they were show. They were walking wow. around with no tops on, showing, and they would throw things at them. But it wasn't beads. They were throwing like money at them, like mm. coins. Yeah, and things like that. Too shit. Now you see, throwing, I would have been throwing the pole at them. <laughs> <laughs> well, first they have to accept the money, and then you get. Yeah. <laughs> you get what? The punchline? You get the punchline? I don't know. I was scared. Get, I was you get waiting. dead silent. <laughs> yep. But see, this just uh, confirms a theory I've had for a long time, which is uh, titties have always been popular. Oh, yes. I didn't even know women had titties in the 1800s. <laughs> but they started doing the whole throw me something Mr. Beads in the 70s. In so the early 70s. I was mostly right. Incorrect. <laughs> okay, so you were wrong. I'm a he big is. enough man to admit that I am wrong. Sometimes. What? Wow. Occasionally. Not very often. Hold on. Ladies he is gentlemen. running a fever. <laughs> we have just heard a monumentous <laughs> occurrence. Christopher Michael James Rogers. <laughs> wow. He gave you the complete call name. Has just admitted <laughs> to being wrong. How do you not know his middle name? I do know his middle name. Okay, you just don't want everyone else to know it? I just was making it up. It's okay. called humor. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, once again, that's... that's <laughs> it's not want. humorous if the audience doesn't know. <laughs> oh, that's His well, name might actually be. be Christopher Michael James Rogers. Right, which would be even better if it is his name. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> People would call me MJ. No, I would just call you three first names. <laughs> <laughs> CMJ. Oh, oh, that's my Indian name. Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. oh, that is oh, that is politically incorrect. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Wait, wait. Whoa. Are we talking about la 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 la? Yes, that's that that no, no, <laughs> la 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 la. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Speaking of which, I don't even know if red dot is not offensive. That I'm sure be, it is. That might be also very offensive. I'm pretty sure it <laughs> is. If, I'm uh, sure it is, and that's okay <clears throat> with me. Yep, because if people want to cancel us, they have to listen to the podcast to find out why they need to cancel us. So yes, let's yes. do it. Let's do it. Our viewership will rhyme. What, and then what we could do instead of red dot Indian, we could say curry Indian. <laughs> <laughs> no, would that not? That wouldn't be good either. No, that's not good. Pakistani Indian. No, no. I can think of some words, but I'm brown. No, yeah, yeah. We don't want to. Because that, that just gets yeah. more offensive. Yeah, it gets worse from there. Right. right. Let's not actually get canceled. I kind of <laughs> like doing a podcast. <laughs> Please don't cancel me. <laughs> The <laughs> <laughs> we could write a song that could be the theme song yes. when we start the episode. I love it. I think we should. There probably is already a song that has oh, you know it, so we can just find it and just <laughs> right. see if it's copyrighted and just play it all day long. <laughs> Except it wouldn't be that high voice that you need to have. Smoking the pool, smoking the pool. <laughs> you, could just, you could just play it at 10 times That's speed. That's it, one and a half Ooh. times speed. Boy. boy, if you play that at 1.6 or whatever the speed is, man, oh I'm going to roll when I hear this. It's going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, what uh, were we yeah, talking uh, about? All right, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, I, want, I do want to talk about Oh, this. you want to talk about this real quick? All right, well, let's yeah, knock it out. Let's... I just wanted to say, because it's from where we used to live, and a lot of people where we're from are really upset about this, because it's apparently a lot is going on in Lake Charles. Okay. Like, shootings and everything. Today, there was a shooting at Preon Lake Mall, and then, uh, like, a couple weeks ago, there was a shooting at an after-homecoming party. A 17-year-old shot, I'm going to tell you, it was like five kids. He shot a 15-year-old. Two 16 year olds, two 17 year olds, and a 19 year old. At the mall? No, at the party the, a oh, couple weeks okay. ago. Homecoming I'm pretty party. sure that exa almost exact thing happened last year in Iberia. It was a, a school after school party kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And some people not from school went there and shot up the party. Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah, killed somebody. Well, then he went on the run. Like, he went on the run. Yeah. And so. I didn't know they could do this, so I, that's why I'm bringing it up, because they released his name, even though he was 17 years old. Okay. Well, and can they do, I mean, obviously they what? can, because they did it, because they couldn't find him. Well, yeah. he's so they released his well, name. Well, understand, okay. in the state of Louisiana, that 17 is not a juvenile. Right. Oh. 17 is right. a unique age, because you're 16, you're a juvenile, 17, you're a minor, and 18, you're an adult. So it's it's a it's a, it's an in between mm -hmm. age. So seventeen is gray, I guess you would call it. 
it's a tricky age. If the parents, like, if you run away from home, then you're just out there in the world. You know, you're technically yeah. not, your parents are not responsible for you, but you are also not old enough to be responsible for yourself. So it's a tricky age. 17's weird. Yeah, Louisiana, I was, at least. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. just shocked that they released his name. They released a photo and everything of him. Well, yeah, but I you mean, know? think about it. If he yeah, no, shot that they many people, yeah. it was a yeah. danger to society. Yeah, that's right. And it was a beef. That's all yeah. it was. It was a beef with one person, and he didn't even shoot the... Apparently, he didn't even shoot the person he had a beef with. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's how it always happens. However... I love beef. Recently, in <laughs> Donaldsonville, when Patterson was having a football game, there was a beef, and a guy punched another guy through a car window... So that guy got out of the car and shot the dude right in his face. Well, it happened. Wow. Crazy, right? Yep. That's why you don't try to punch people through the car. That's, that's right. See, and we talk about this, and a couple of my friends at work, we talked about this. Back in the day, you used to be able to fight people. Yeah. You have right. an issue with somebody, you can walk up yep. to them and punch them in the face. They punch you back in the right. face. You fight it out, and then you go your separate mm-hmm. ways. Or somebody goes to jail, whatever. It doesn't matter what the end, of, end, right. end outcome is. Right. You might have caught an ass whooping. The other guy might have caught an ass whooping. You never know. But nowadays, you punch somebody in the face, they get mad. They come out with a gun and shoot you in the face because they're cowards. They can't fight. Nobody's just fighting Correct. anymore. That's <clears throat> what that's what they said. Can we teach our boys just to yeah, fight just instead to fight. of shooting each other? Just teach them just to fight each other. Yep. Don't go to deadly force just because you feel like you can't beat this guy. Go catch your ass whooping. You know, be a man. Yep. Man up. Yep. These guns and stuff, taking that out in a fight, that's just yeah, stupid. Yeah, well, so now he's arrested. He's going to jail for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah 20 yeah, years yeah. to life. And they were like, oh, he's going to be tried as a juvenile. Nope, they're trying him as an adult. Oh, oh that's no. the thing. Well, no, that's what they were, they were, they were telling him. Juvenile. But if you commit murder, I mean, you really, they try to not. I don't know that anybody died yet, though. you as a minor. But what I'm saying is, mm-hmm. like, any in Louisiana, Anytime it's involved with killing somebody, I mean, you can be 12 years old and they pushing for the death penalty because they don't like people killing each other no matter how old they are. I mean, just sometimes, yeah, are they prosecuted as a minor? Yeah. But there are some situations where young <clears throat> minors are prosecuted as adults because yeah. they're like, yeah, there's no way you crime. knew exactly what you were doing. Oh, yeah, like those boys that killed that yeah. um Yeah, and the crime chief. is so horrific. Yeah. Right. It, it yeah. Calls for yeah. It, right. Absolutely. Yeah. I just yeah. want to bring that up because yeah, it's sure. crazy. Like sure. it's their shootings are getting more escalated in Lake Charles, and it's just yeah, it's crazy. And Lake Charles still looks like a bomb went off there. Yeah, yeah. like if it's you still really pay attention, it's football games, high school football games. Mm. You you hear it all the time. Either it was at the football game or right after the football game. Yeah, this or was after around the football game. Yeah, like yeah, you know, and it's all because young people can't fight. That's what it's all about. They, they they just can't put their hands on one another and call it a day. Or they get triggered. <laughs> and that's the whole thing. You know what? Like, you're talking about how many people got shot at this party? Like, five, five or six? You know what stops somebody from shooting people? A good guy with a gun. That's what stops people from shooting people. Yep. That's right. That's how you no, do that. No, that's right. That's exactly right. So, yeah. it's not a gun control argument. It's a mental health thing. And if you run up into... We've seen it already. We've seen it happen many times. You run up into a situation with a gun and you're a crazy person shooting up everybody. The only thing that's going to stop you is a good person with a gun. Yep. Yep. That's real. So that's my thoughts on that particular topic. All right. No, it's yep. good thoughts. Yeah, I mean, no, it's, no. it's absolutely that's right. That's right. true. Yeah. So before I do my uh, movie recommendation, uh, do you have a random thought of the day? Yeah, the, because, the, because the uh, crazy in the mind of Reagan. We, uh, I thought of a possible name for this segment. Oh, did she you? thought of a possible name. I would love what to. Was hear you, those what was names. your name? What did the name you want? I don't remember. Oh my gosh, you don't remember. Oh, so, so good. It just yeah. left. Well, 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 no, I old. thought it was Reagan's random thoughts. I thought that was a great one. No, no but I, it has to mention yeah. how stupid they so are. So I want to. I want to. I think, I think the, random is pretty good. I think that the uh, segment should be called "What the fuck did Reagan just say?" Yes, except uh, no. <laughs> what the f or WTF did Reagan just say? Mine's, I like mine better. Reagan or, just or wow. what did Reagan just say? About <laughs> wow. Because wow can be said in so many different ways. I don't know. I like the, the delusional mind of Reagan. <laughs> this is that moment where we learn 
what is happening in her head? Let's hear it. So, being that we just did October and Halloween and everything, it made me think, do prostitutes like Halloween because of all the tricks? <laughs> <laughs> Three weeks too late, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't say my do random prostitutes like Halloween were... <laughs> because of all of the tricks? I mean... And Harvey Weinstein gets all the treats. Yeah. <laughs> Tricks and treats. <laughs> well, in the end, he I got love a it. few more treats than he planned no on. And green, though. Yeah. I'm in prison. Could you imagine? No, I, don't know. I, I can't even imagine. I mean, I now know. he's on the, the, you know. What do no. you do with that? Put some sand on it? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> I thought that's you had to cut it off. What is Once the it... question? No, I was saying, uh, now he's in prison and he's kind of on the other end of that spectrum. Oh, yeah. Mm, yep. So when you look at Harvey really, Weinstein, he really in club treat. mad. He's the treat. He's in no, club that's mad. That's what I'm asking. Yeah, he's not in a real that's prison. What, when you look at Harvey Weinstein, do you get someone who is Bubba, or do you get someone who is Nancy in prison? Nancy, definitely, <laughs> definitely, because it's easy to yell and be controlling to a bunch of pussy actors, right? But, uh, but when you in yeah. prison, when they got gangs yeah. and people that have been lifting weights yeah. for 42 years and don't right. have nothing better to do. Well, plus yeah. he has no money and power in prison. Yeah. When he meets when he meets Ben, Ben Dover, oh. he's going oh. to have a he, different outlook. Oh, my God. Different outlook. Ben D. Over. He becomes IP Freely. <laughs> <laughs> Be like a sprinkler. Yeah. Oh, God. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay. So the uh, movie recommendation for tonight. Yeah, we like to beat things to death on here. <laughs> Trying to fill time, That's I guess. That's personal. Huh? You can't tell people what I do with my own time. <laughs> so the movie recommendation tonight is going to be another De Niro, De Niro movie, a lesser known De Niro movie. Are you talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I like he this movie. He always acts with his eyes closed. Yeah. Oh, I do like this movie. So this okay. is a comedy, uh, made in 1988. Starring, of course, Robert De Niro, Charles Grodin, Yafet Koto, and uh, Dennis Farina. So the plot is that uh, Robert De Niro had he been a... Made it oh, I'm sorry. You're right. I didn't. The, Jesus Christ. The, uh, Get it together, buddy. Get it I'm together. telling you. The title... You're 50 years the, old. Wolf. I mean, you know, it's late. Oh, my God. So the title of the movie is Midnight Run. And w uh, what it's about is uh, Robert De Niro is a uh, bounty hunter. He used to be a cop, uh, but he got chased out, of, uh, I think in Chicago, and he got chased out of the city by this uh, heroin dealer. So now he's forced to uh, just be a lowly bounty hunter, which he hates the job. You know, he's trying to do that one last job that you make enough money to fucking, you know, never do it again, you know, that whole plot point. But uh, what happens is uh, Charles Grodin is, uh, was an accountant for the very uh, heroin dealer that ran Rob De Niro out of town, and uh, he's a big mob boss now. And uh, Charles Grodin stole millions of dollars from him. And so uh, whenever uh, they find out he stole the money, they're trying to kill him. So he's on the run. And the FBI is looking for him because they want to arrest him and, and get him to, you know, turn evidence, testify, you know, save his life. And uh, so it's like a $100,000 bounty or something on him. So Robert De Niro is like, if I can just catch him and bring him in, then I can retire. I don't have to be a bounty hunter anymore. So... Rob De Niro's chasing him, and uh, Yafet Koto's an FBI agent who's looking for him, which the whole Yafet Koto as an FBI agent storyline is just, mwah, the chef's kiss. It really makes the movie. Okay, well, uh, we don't know who that is. Yes, you do. Uh, you ever see the movie Alien? He's the black guy. There's only one. Yep. Okay. You don't know who that is? You don't know who Yafet Koto is, really? No, okay, yeah. It okay. doesn't matter. I have to pee really bad. So, <laughs> hey, hey, we were talking for an hour. I got you. I got you. So, anyway, so it's a hilarious movie. I swear to God, there's so much going on. You know, the whole interaction between Rob De Niro and Charles Grodin is just spectacular. You know, it's the whole thing about people chasing each other and just, like, escalating events. You know, a whole bunch of people, like, show up at one time and try to catch the same guy fighting each other. You know, that whole thing. The musical score for it is is perfect for uh, an action comedy. It's just a it's just a perfect score in my opinion. Uh, highly recommend Midnight Run. 19, Midnight Run. Yep. Robert 1988. De Niro. Nineteen eighty eight. Yep. Check it out. There it is. I like it. 
That's it. And I guess uh, we've talked long enough. So. Seems like it. Yep. How you doing? What you feel? You feel like you got anything that you would like to add to his midnight run? Yeah, Bodie won't let me watch your movies anymore. Oh my gosh. What movie? You know what's you really watch? funny is that we will sit here, her and I, while you are giving your recommendation, and we will give you all of the shit. We will say your movies suck, you recommend crap, you're always garbage, you're always garbage. And as soon as you guys leave, we go in the bedroom and she's searching <laughs> for the movie that you just said. I what swear you, to you, you, I'm not watch? even joking. She's searching the one for about it. The she puts it on and presses oh, play, and we gotta watch it? all of the crap. Yes, I did, but he halfway through the movie's going, we are never watching another one of these You did not again. like Red Light. Is that what you're telling you me? I don't like any of the doo doo. None. You went to sleep. You didn't even doo-doo. give it a chance. Yeah, exactly. Yes, well, because here's, I go straight to sleep in the middle of the crap the thing. because it's all garbage. Here's the thing my movie recommendations are not for you, it's for, the, not. It's for the audience. Okay? Right. I don't give a shit if you right. watch them. And apparently the, I have to watch I, them in The problem secrets. is, she makes me watch your crap. That's the problem. <laughs> That's where we're running into issues. Not, I don't have a problem with the recommendations at all. I have a problem with it. She makes me look at the crap. <laughs> okay, so no more can <clears throat> I watch any of no. them with him. That sucks for you. Or you can watch it and put your head, new headphones on. I'm saying I is. can't watch it yeah, with him. Yeah, and fantasize about me not being in the room. That's <laughs> how we do. Yay. All right. Well, podcast is out. <laughs> <laughs>